Hello everyone, on board the subway, the J train. It's January 2nd, 2021, Saturday night. 43 degrees Fahrenheit, 6 degrees Celsius. Just crossing over the Williamsburg Bridge to get to Williamsburg. This might take a few minutes, but almost there already. Hope everyone's enjoying their day so far. On the J train. I have service right now because I'm above ground. Internet connection unstable, that was strange. Well, seems to have gone away now. Alright, I think we finished crossing over the bridge. The next stop, Marcy Avenue, I'm getting off. I want to explore Williamsburg, Brooklyn tonight. Amazing Scenes channel ask if I know Walking Community. Yes, we've talked. I think we're slowing up. All right, Marcy Avenue Station. That's actually a new announcement. I haven't heard that before. Saying this is an accessible station. Alright, time to get off. Marcy Avenue Station. Highway, the Brooklyn Queens Expressway. The next stop is Hughes Streets. Staying clear the closing doors, please. Ding dong. That was a ride on the J train. arrive in 11 minutes. That was an R143G uh, J. So this is Broadway in Brooklyn and Marcy Avenue. I'm actually going to walk to the end of Broadway. Very scenic view of the elevated subway from underneath. You can see that there's paint coming off. Things are wearing down a little bit. Need a new paint job. NAF75 saying Happy New Year from Hungary. Yes to everyone. 
Happy New Year. We can still say Happy New Year until the end of the month. I think that was the conclusion that I got last stream. My streaming quality today is poor. I had some issues on the Williamsburg Bridge with unstable internet just for a few seconds, but I'm not sure how it is now. Hopefully it gets better. And I'm gonna put on my gloves because it got cold out. So. All right, gloves on now. Let's go. Here's the Williamsburg bus station. Or bus plaza, I should say. I don't remember having issues with internet here, but who knows what happened. I'm also gonna put on my hood. It's definitely deceiving with the weather because it's 40 something, but the wind chills are not cooperating. We're gonna pass by the famous Peter Luger Steakhouse in a few blocks. Big dog saying if I'm going to Peter Luger to get a steak, no, I got my dinner ready tonight, but I've never eaten at Peter Luger's before. I've had the Peter Luger's steak sauce though, that's really good. For me, I'm not really a fine dining type of person or really enjoy eating at steakhouses too much. That's just me. I don't even remember the last time I've eaten at a steakhouse. It's been a long time. Sean Tracy, you thought Peter Lou's. All right, I'm getting unstable internet connection messages, so. Maybe it's just this part of Williamsburg that's bad, but I'm gonna hook up my personal hotspot. That is very strange and I don't like the look of that. So I'm gonna be right back, folks. Don't worry. I will be right back. Okay, I am back. This should help a little bit with the internet, I hope. Okay, I don't have internet unstable errors anymore. Crossing my fingers. But also is a good test of my Be Right Back screen. It looked pretty good. Uh, 
Okay, let me put on my other glove again. Thank you so much, Reg Life, with $10. You inspired me to start live streaming in Detroit, Michigan. Awesome, wow. Can you visit my Reg Life channel one day? I certainly can. I know I've been the inspiration of many people starting their own channels. Here is Broadway and Driggs Avenue. And the Peter Luger Steakhouse is right here. The famous steakhouse of New York City. We'll see how people do their fine dining outside. But they've got all these booths set up with the plastic screens. Seems like everyone here has their own table. It looks pretty good. I don't really see any like... Oh, there are heat lamps. They're on the top. That's good. But Peter Lugers, they have outdoor dining. And they're actually pretty busy too. From the looks of it, it's Saturday night. It's a night out where everyone di decides to dine out and hang out with their friends. There's some more outdoor dining across the street, but I don't really see it being used. But I'm going to continue walking down Broadway all the way to the East River. I have not been to Domino Park in a while, as well as the waterfront areas of Williamsburg. Lately, I've been going to Bedford Avenue, Driggs Avenue, but I haven't really explored the Williamsburg waterfront in a while, so let's go down there. Broadway and Bedford Avenue. <laughs> that cop just made the B-32 bus stop so the cop could make the turn. Emergencies take priority over public transit. This part of Broadway is pretty dark. I don't know why they didn't put more lights up. There's a light across the street there and then there's one over here. Tim Sheehan, thank you so much for the 299 pounds. Hi to Arnie and Andrew. Yes. Arnie and Andrew, hello. Welcome. The Kipo's late to the live stream, but not by much. Only 15 minutes. Going down to the waterfront this way, there aren't too many restaurants and bars. It's more of like a hangout spot. And most people, they come down there for recreation. And before they would have outdoor food festivals like smorgasbord and meetups, bike meetups and events down there by the waterfront. But now with COVID, I don't know how much of that is going on on Saturday night. And a lot of the waterfront too has been built up. There's some more restaurants down there and I like to check out how the vibe is there tonight. Here's another place, a diner. 
I'm not even sure what this place is called. It just says diner on the top. Diner. Mike Hirschhurst saying nice video of the new Penn Station today. Yes, I like the new Moynihan train hall. I know in the live video that I did yesterday, I said it was Monaghan probably for the first like three, four minutes and I just got roasted by it by other people in the comments section as well as the live stream. But it is the Moynihan train hall. But that happens. It's the first day that the train hall is open and we all have to learn how to pronounce it. So. And it's also a good thing I did not narrate my Moynihan train hall video, the video I put up this morning, because I did that before the live stream and you probably would have heard me saying Monaghan for the whole 21 minutes of that video. So that's another good part about not narrating a video. You get to excuse yourself from saying bad pronunciation if you don't know how to say stuff. Otherwise, I'm sure people will be like, no, it's Moynihan, 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 Moynihan. Not Monaghan. Brian Z is saying, can you access Penn Station from the new train hall? That is Penn Station. Penn Station basically is the tracks and the platforms beneath. And the Moynihan train hall is just a place where people can go rest and wait for the trains. The same with the Madison Square Garden structure across the street. We got another restaurant here doing outdoor dining in a tent. It looks very comfortable in this tent actually. They got outdoor heating, some lights up, also a propane tank. And they also decorated for the holidays too. Let me see what restaurant this is. Uh, it looks like an Italian restaurant. It's hard to make out the name because of the light. It's uh, Patrizia's. Patrizia's Pizza and Pasta. Derby Boy 1983, thank you so much for the 999. Thanks for all the attention you provide us, all of us during 2020. You've helped staying home be tolerable for sure. Thank you, Derby Boy 1983 and Superstar with five bucks. Happy New Year, stay safe. Yes, Happy New Year to everyone watching. That's awesome that we're in 2021 now. This is the first Saturday night. Arojo. Nancy Young also likes my Moynihan train hall tour. Thank you. I had a New York moment yesterday by pronouncing the name incorrectly. Probably no more than 10 times. But now I know how a tourist feels like when they go to New York City and they pronounce Houston Street as Houston Street. Because it sure likes, um, the name it sure looks like Monaghan. So here's the bridge I crossed on the subway, the Williamsburg Bridge. This is the street that's right by the waterfront, Domino Park. Why are you too scared of me? Colby Summers, thank you so much for the 99 cents. local grocery store, the City Acres Market over here. Someone's taking out the shopping cart, ready to go shopping. Thank you so much for the super chat, Najuma Brown. Happy New Year to you as well. Scott Morosky saying, so they basically turned the big post office into the new train station. Um, I would say they repurposed it because the post office is still there. They basically built that train hall in an area that was pretty much a courtyard before. 
it was open space behind the post office. So it was a good use of the space. But that post office is still there. It's just undergoing renovations. Here's the Williamsburg Bridge from underneath. Thank you, Tokyo Explorer. Oh, I know you, Tokyo Explorer. Explorer. I watch your live streams too with one, two, three, four Japanese yen. People keep mentioning you in the chat when I stream, so I had to check out your channel. Now I can see why I love it. New fan and follow here. Keep up the awesome work. Thank you so much. You know, believe it or not, I watch a lot of people who do these walking videos and live streams, but I don't really like to talk too much because I respect what people do and I don't want to take away from the YouTuber who's doing the videos. But once in a while, I'll stop by and I'll watch Tokyo Explorer, very good channel who does live streams in Japan. All right. So I'm approaching Domino Park. This is Williamsburg's, uh, Williamsburg's newest public park. What in the world was that? It sounded like a dog that was You know what? It's that sign that's making all the noise. Right? The one that, that's in front of retail space. I thought it was a dog. Wait, the, the sign just tipped over again, but it didn't make the noise. You know, it might be a dog because there's a dog over there. Hmm. Paul Taylor mentioning about the President Roosevelt's private train on the Rockefeller Hotel. I thought it was the Waldorf Astoria and that was under Grand Central Terminal. There's World War II intelligence briefings on the Grand Central Terminal and he had the private train from Grand Central Terminal to the Wall of Astoria because he wanted to hide the fact that he had polio. Yinges, thank you so much for the two Swiss francs. Happy New Year from Switzerland, thank you. Wow, even Domino Park decorated for the holidays. We can still see some decorations probably until the end of next week and then I think most of the decorations will be taken down for sure. There's a dog park over here. A little bit chilly though. I wouldn't want to um, come out for too long today unless your dog's a breed that enjoys the cold weather all the time. But here's the view of Manhattan. Joe Electronics say you don't understand why everywhere you walk you have to videotape if there's nothing special going on. I always find there's something going on. There's always new people out, new decorations I haven't seen before. Just because you don't think there's anything special going on doesn't mean that anybody thinks there's nothing special going on. I always find New York City is a city that's very dynamic, always evolves and always changes. And there's the Empire State Building in the distance. 
it's dressed in the red and blue and red, uh, green. There's the dog park. I love how this park used to be the old sugar refinery and sugar plant and they recreated this park to incorporate many of the old elements of it. I don't know what language that is, but maybe they're tourists. Oh, there's a train coming across. Oh, so they're Arabic. Awesome. Wow, I wonder what they did here. Let's walk onto this field. Maybe they're um, turning, it in, turning this into a lawn or something. I don't know. Oh wait, it's a sandbox. So they're covering the sand probably to protect it or doing something to it. Is this grass real or fake? This is a uh, fake grass. Oh, D dirty. Yes, this was the volleyball court. Uh, court. That's right. Thank you so much for that because you see here the old poles for the volleyball net. It goes right across. Paul Taylor saying it was the Rockefeller Hotel. All right, maybe back then it was called the Rockefeller Hotel. And S. No Way saying you're from Croatia when I'm going to be on TV there. I think you said in January. I'll have to follow up on the producer for that, but probably soon. Okay, I really like this area. You can step over here and relax, get a great view of Manhattan. You are awesome, wow. You know me now? <laughs> What's up? Hey. All right, let's go down. All right. You're better than me. At least you can warrant with the bicycle. Yeah. Watch as you came up the train. Wow. 
Did you enjoy your New Year's? That was working, man. Working over here. Yeah. I saw you on Liberty with the other guy the other day. Uh, what, uh, New York City walking show? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I think he's in it. Manhattan right now. Yeah. Nice to meet you, man. Okay. Yeah, I know. Nice to meet you, okay. too. It's awesome. All right, man. All right. Warm up. <laughs> I'm going to keep have walking. Do you have, have no, I got I got a stuff. Okay, okay. Yeah. Thanks. All right, man. All right. Happy New Year. Bye. You, too. Andy, thanks, thank you so much for the two pounds. So a bicycle delivery person was following me. And he is prepared for this nighttime weather and atmosphere because he had bright lights on. Let's go take a look at the view again. I'll go it real slow. Mikey, 1977-99, you don't think it's a good idea to watch me driving a bike in New York City. Well, maybe he was watching me from the park. But the park, if you're stopped, is a good place to watch me. It doesn't have to be while moving. We got the Williamsburg Bridge with World Trade Center in the background. Smooth Sanchez IRL says to jump in the water. It is very cold in there. I don't think I'll be able to get up if I do that, so probably not. Tracy Wall saying, what's the top over there? This is a area that they built where you can walk on the top and see the um, Domino Sugar I guess cranes that they use to like take all the containers off the ships. But well, there's two levels here. There's the ground level and then the second floor over there. native plants that used to be here. Wolf Moon, while well, I attempt to do the great saunter. That was a walking commuter who did that, walking the perimeter of Manhattan, which is 32 miles. I've actually thought about doing it, even way back before I did these live streams, I thought about walking the perimeter of Manhattan, but for me, that's not really my thing. I really like to explore urban environments, cities, neighborhoods, and to walk the perimeter of Manhattan with just river views and parks. I don't really think that's for me. I'd rather walk 32 miles within the city itself. Also, I feel like walking that long is not really necessary either. I'm. I'm more practical person when it comes to walking. But yeah, if you want to see the great saunter, the walking commuter, he's another YouTuber and live streamer in New York City. He did it, I think, last week walking the perimeter of Manhattan, 32 miles. And I think he was live for like nine hours.
Thank you, Valerie Johnson, for five bucks. Yvette Vlogs, your building is to my right. Behind the sugar crane, I think. JR says, appreciate my work, very humble and sincere. God bless your soul. Oh, I appreciate it very much. Thank you. But this is one of the newest builders in, buildings in Williamsburg, 10 Grand Street. Rich Squenta, thank you so much for the five bucks. Thank you. There's also a restaurant here now, Roberta's. I think it's a pizzeria, if I'm not mistaken. M. Joy, thank you so much for five bucks, saying Happy New Year, Happy New Year to you as well. Yeah, it is a pizzeria, folks. And they have the menu here. Rosso, margarita, Beast thing, famous original. Do they sell slices? I don't think they do. A lot of these places, they sell pizza only by the pie and not slices. KO, you like this area? I do too. It's a very nice area. Madoni saying Roberta's and Lay Castillo saying it's Roberta's. They're super popular. You know, I know they were popular, but I didn't think they were at this, at this location. I think it was the original location that is the one that's popular. That's why I was kind of thrown off. It's kind of like in Astoria, there's a Rosa's Pizzeria and the original Rosa's Pizzeria is in Maspeth, Queens. Just like there's a Joe's Pizzeria in Greenwich Village and there's also a Joe's Pizzeria in uh, Williamsburg as well. It's kind of like having a Shake Shack or McDonald's. Same restaurant, just different locations. So as you can see, Kent Avenue, there's more places that are opening up now. There's a restaurant across the street, Double Zero, plant-based pizza. I saw this waterfront change throughout the years too. Back in the 90s and the early 2000s, this was pretty much all factories and industrial. The bike lane didn't even exist back then. And now this area is developing like crazy. Here there's a vacant lot. I'm pretty sure they're gonna build something here. I don't know why this trash bag is here. Seems a little bit out of place. Paul McDonough here, you saw me do this area with Tom Delgado. Yes, that is a sick plug if you want to watch that video. I've done a video of him uh, with him walking around Williamsburg, Brooklyn. Another great YouTuber you should subscribe to. Spooky, thank you so much for five bucks. Appreciate it very much.
So to the left of me is a street called River Street and also a new building going up. Caroline's saying you're in my neighborhood. Yeah, Williamsburg's uh, changing. Glad to show you what's changing and the different areas of the neighborhood now. But I'm focusing on the waterfront tonight because I've been up to Bedford Avenue and Driggs before. Wow, this is really, really crazy now, really different. Now there's retail space on the lower level and then you have these fancy apartments on the top. They probably repurposed the, uh, the building that this was redeveloped as. I mean, they probably redeveloped the building that used to be here. You can kind of tell it used to be like a factory with these archways and then now they're gutting the interior and changing everything about it. Over here is a restaurant called La Nona Crispy Crust Pizza. La Nona in Italian means the grandmother. So it's the grandmother pizzeria. Williamsburg's got a lot of pizzerias. Eric A says, subscribe to me, was recommended to your channel from that crazy Disney lady. You know, I've never heard of that channel. Maybe I should check it out. Or well, maybe I have, but I haven't, um, don't remember. But thank you to the crazy Disney lady for sending people here. Welcome to the live stream. And here's La Nona Restaurant original across the street this one's the more uh fancy location that's not the pizza location shauna jones thank you so much for 20 canadian thank you so much for all your hard work lots of love from calgary alberta canada thank you so much shauna and dingo jam radio thank you so much for the 549 euro So if I walk down here, you're actually going to go to the Williamsburg waterfront. There's also a ferry station over here. But I want to check out the spots along Kent Avenue first before I go there. Here's a Mexican bar and grill, grill called the Mole. Oh, wow. This is totally unique a holiday themed moose definitely seems mexican and north poly to me no it's like a moose reindeer hmm god answers a 499 ever consider making a documentary about new york you know what I kind of do is a little bit like documentary, but I haven't really thought about making like a fully produced film or a video about it. I kind of live my life day to day making these videos and through that it's kind of like a time capsule of the city. Here's another factory that looks like needs some work. Gigs video with five pounds. Discover you over the new year. Happy New Year, dude. Thank you, Gigs video. Hope you enjoy the new year video. I 
I checked the analytics of that live stream. During New Year's Eve, that live stream, I had 24,903 people viewing at the peak. Crystal Joe, you heard that over 50,000 people watching me during my New Year's Eve live stream. Well, that live stream by itself, it has over 500,000 views on it. But the peak viewership concurrently watching it was 24,903, which, which smashed any kind of record on live streams on my channel. The previous record I think was like 6,000 and something. That was during the snowstorm in January, I mean uh, December. Eric B, thank you so much for five bucks. Happy New Year, Action Kid. Also, everyone go watch Cobra Kai Season 3 on Netflix now. Well, they're not gonna be able to if they're watching this live stream unless they wanna have like a, I guess, a mixture of attention. But maybe after this is over, they can. All right, let's walk to the waterfront. Hopefully I don't have any kind of internet issues over here. Another person coming from the Crazy Disney Ladies channel. I definitely got to check it out afterwards. Ooh. Misbehaving dogs. I thought I was able to get to the waterfront from here, but this is a private building here. Very tall private building, if I may add. I gotta walk around it. Okay, so we're gonna see the waterfront over here as well as the ferry terminal. I'm also feeling the wind a lot more here by the waterfront. The water's going, I mean the Wind's getting right into my gloves. Take a look at how fancy this building is. They got a really nice lounge, Christmas tree in the lobby. Also some nice ornaments on the top. Vonda Howard, thank you so much for the 499. Just cuz, love watching you. Thanks for what you do. Hi from DC. Thank you, Vonda Howard from Washington, D.C. Appreciate it very much. Boy, this might be a mistake for me to go down here because it sure is windy down here. But I won't be here for long. That's me, what's up? Another cyclist who recognizes you, yeah. What's up, hey. How are you, man? Awesome, your how's your new year? Right oh, you are, wow. I was telling you about him, this is the Action Kid. If you want to see New York City streams, this guy's the best. Wow, well, so cool you stream on event. Twitch or YouTube? Huh? I'm on Reddit right now. Oh, you're on Reddit? Wow. Yeah, I, I love your stuff, man. I, awesome, I always, man. I'm always watching your stuff, man. Yeah. It's so good to see you, dude. <laughs> I hope to see you again. Well, I didn't know Reddit can do streaming. Yeah, Reddit I stream. always thought you could post text and video and images, but not stream. No, yeah, Reddit has live streaming. That's pretty. Cool. Oh wow, yeah. I gotta check that out now. I'm, I'm talking about you, man. I'm telling you, I'm telling them to watch you. Wow. They like the New York City walkthrough. 
Yeah. All right. So what's your real name, man? First I'm name? Kenneth. Kenneth? Yeah. I'm Dominic, dude. Dominic. All right. And so where can they see. find you on Reddit? Huh? Where can they find you on Reddit? Uh, my Reddit username is PYRSL64. It's very a It's a very cryptic yeah. name. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But uh, good to see you, man. It's awesome running into you. Yeah. Happy New Year, man. Take Be care. Warm. Yeah, I know. I, I regret it now coming down this water. It's all the wind. Hell yeah. Yeah, <laughs> tell them you're such a legend. Yeah. <laughs> Take care, man. Another Action Kid viewer finds me on the streets of New York, or on the waterfront, I should say. You know what's also funny? Thank you so much, Mr. Dawi, CZK20, Chuck Karuna. Good evening, Action Kid. Um, Lance Gwenthy, thank you so much for five bucks. Happy New Year, Action K. When am I going to Coney Island? We'd love to see my old stomping ground continue to be safe now in Virginia. I'll get down there eventually. But what I was about to say is, what was funny was, during my Moynihan train haul video, I was doing that whole video non-narrated. And I had my AirPods in my ear with noise cancellation on the like last three quarters of the video to be finished there was somebody who like shouted out my name twice and I didn't even hear him at all and I feel bad because I like completely ignore them with noise cancellation headphones thank you Pete Spa with 499 happy 2021 X Maspeth haven't been back in 10 years love your videos thank you so much but that can happen if you find me in public, I may have in my AirPods with noise cancellation headphones. And I can't really hear most of you. Alexander E. Poa, thank you so much for $1.99. And Kyla Gall with 299 pounds. Happy New Year from Aberdeen, Scotland. You know, it's also funny because when I do my non-narrated videos, I secretly like wish that nobody goes up to me and bothers me because having a non-narrated video and then running into somebody saying like, wait, you're action kid, yeah, what's up? It kind of ruins the mood a little bit of the non-narrated videos. And it kind of goes back to maybe like a year and a half or two years ago when I started making those non-narrated videos and people uh, were putting in the comment section, they were asking like, what's gonna happen when you get to be so popular that people recognize you on the streets when doing these non-narrated videos? And now I kind of feel like I wasn't so noticeable when doing those non-narrated videos, but sometimes I leave the conversations in and sometimes I'll cut them out if they're too long like if they say hi and then I say oh hey what's up and then I'll just fade it out and continue the clip that's what I do for those non-narrated videos now thank you Maisie L you can edit and mute those I can Ned Steele thank you so much for five bucks appreciate it Loose tea leaves, you saw me from the lovely Reddit man stream. Such a small world. It really is. It really is. But the ferry terminal is over there on the north side of the pier over there. So we've got uh, two streamers who recommended this channel, the Crazy Cat, uh, Crazy Disney Lady channel, and also the person from Reddit. Fabian saying if I'll upload the live as a video la uh, later. Well, YouTube automatically does that anyway. As long as you select the option to save the live as a upload, then YouTube will do that.
We've got some more dogs barking at each other. Uh oh. Well, this is a great view. Empire State Building is right down the middle. Uh oh, who hacked the machine? Can we stop it? Intrusion detected. Swipe access car to disarm. Uh oh. That's not good. Someone is trying to steal money from that machine. Look at this. You walk straight down to the end, you're approaching the Empire State Building. And that's a pretty long pier too. I don't think I want to walk all the way down there but maybe just up to here it's also amazing that i've been walking almost for an hour here and i haven't even gone to the busiest section of williamsburg this is the more quiet section of williamsburg brooklyn All right, let's go back to Kent Avenue and maybe I'll head up to the busy section of Williamsburg next. So now you know what happens when there's an intrusion on one of these machines. There's an alarm that just gets sounded off and it goes constantly on all the time. All right. Quiet Swarmy wants me to go to Bedford Avenue, please. I think I'll head there right now. Low Bled XD asking if I've ever tried the place called Pies and Thighs, delicious fried chicken and their pecan pie. I've never heard of that place before. Is it in Williamsburg? Miss Godella B is saying you used to date someone from Bedford Avenue. I remember having dates on Bedford Avenue right before COVID. Nino Moroki, thank you so much for $1.99. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you as well. Ronnie Lynn Steinberg asking where is Flatbush? Oh, Flatbush is far from here. That's another neighborhood in Brooklyn. It's um, almost near the i would say like if you know where coney island is it's closer to coney island than it is here pretty lights here i like what they did to this tree They got heat lamps as well.
I can feel the heat from out here and I'm not even in the tents. But that is the outdoor seating area for Fabrica Bar. They also got cocktails. But I want to see what Williamsburg's nightlife is right now, so I'm going to head towards Bedford Avenue. But first Saturday night of 2021, people seem to be enjoying it in Williamsburg so far with outdoor dining and also some walking around. I don't know what street this was that I started walking on, but this goes right up to Bedford Avenue. It's one of the side streets. Joe's Oscar and Myers Wieners asking if I'm at the Dumbo. Uh, Dumbo is within walking distance from here, but I'm not really near it. Hector wants me to try Martha's Country Bakery in Bedford. Yeah, Martha's Country Bakery rocks. I don't think I'll be getting something from there tonight though. So this is, I think North 6th Street. Yeah, North 6th Street and Wythe Avenue. Wow, this garbage can can't get more full. Same thing with the one across the street. In fact, they even kicked a paper cup in the crosswalk, it was overflowing. Anthony, you hear New York City is really dirty. How many rats have I seen today? That it is, it's really dirty, but I haven't seen any rats today. Usually they're in the public parks and in the sewers. You don't really see them normally on the city streets. Thank you, Armando Vasquez with $1.99, appreciate. And also the subways as well. But garbage and trash is a big problem in New York City. And that comes for, from many variety of factors. A lot of it has to do with the culture, the community, city government not doing enough education and pickups as well. And also not enough infrastructure to deal with all the trash. There's a lot of people here and New York City wasn't really built to have like alleyways and places to store all the garbage. There's only curbside pickup in most places. Oh, this is pretty, wow. really neat I don't know what this place is but they got plenty of outdoor seating here underneath another covering this is SEA at 114 North 6 very cool This is one of the most fancy outdoor dining setups I've seen. Also, if you don't know, Williamsburg is also a great place to get some street art. Look at this. I love to hear it tell me something, anything. We are all we have.
Yeah, New York City has a serious trash problem. Look at this. <laughs> it's more than full. They just stacked litter on top of the litter for that garbage can. Also, I would uh, like to comment too that I don't know when the last trash pickup was, but it's January 2nd. I could imagine New Year's Eve into New Year's Day here was pretty wild. Probably people hanging out in the streets and having takeout and then just put it in the trash receptacles. RES saying the trash pickup was probably a holiday. Yeah, I think so. Kill King saying the trash cans need to be moved on the ground. But then there's a problem with that. Digging is very expensive in New York City. You have subways underneath, you have electrical wires, you have utility cables, steam pipes. You don't want to just randomly dig and put trash on the ground either. So no matter how you do it, it's complicated. Here's Bedford Avenue, the street with what should be the most activity in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. Let's take a look at Bedford Avenue. Bedford Irish should have a lot more activity. Hey, you're Oh, hey, what's up? Happy New Year. He followed you on your channel. Oh, thank you. You saw the New Year's uh, live stream? Yeah. That was it. Wow. Yeah. Awesome. What'd you get for dinner? Mexican sandwich. Mexican sandwich is good? Yeah. Wow. I got some, some tacos right here. Oh, tacos? Yeah. yeah. No, I'm okay. I ate already. Oh, cool. All right. You're doing a good job. Thank you. Right. Take, care. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right. So, has some more viewers of the channel on there. Wow. A long story short, two bucks. Did I pass Music Hall Williamsburg yet? I don't think I did. Leanne Costa Massa with $4.99, thank you. We got here Juice Generation. What do we got here? This is a Thai restaurant. And here's the Joe's Pizzeria that I was mentioning about before. The one in uh, Greenwich Village, Manhattan. Same uh, company. I think I'll walk down to the Whole Foods Market over there and then walk up Bedford Avenue. Ashley, you didn't realize there was one in Williamsburg as well? It's good. Long story short, did I pass Music Hall of Williamsburg yet? I don't think I did. I've. I kind of know where it is, but I don't remember. I have to look it up. But it's not on that street that I was walking up.
It was on North 6th, the music hall of Williamsburg. Let me look. Music hall of Williamsburg. Oh, it was on North 6th. Yeah, it was on that same block that I turned the right on. I completely missed it. It was right off Kent Avenue. I didn't know what street that was, but I did miss it. Here's the Whole Foods Market. Doesn't look busy at all. Yeah, you have great memories of the place. You saw Generations and Hers bands at the music hall. That's awesome. Gookie 27, be safe fellow story. We'd love to see you highlight restaurants and businesses in the Bushwick area one day. Yeah, I should get around to that. Bushwick is a nice neighborhood, very hopping. I think I walked through there on the day before Thanksgiving. Thank you so much, Zoe, for five bucks. And the walking man dude says, dude, I was there earlier tonight and hurt your foot. Well, I hope your foot's a lot better, walking man dude. I know you've been doing a lot of walking recently, including going down to get some Popeye's chicken and had a freak out. I can see the Walking Man Dude channel growing big someday. Priya Mason saying, did you hear about the attacking squirrels in Queens? I did. They're in, they're in Regal Park, apparently. And apparently these squirrels... Oh! Crap, that's not good. Uh-oh. I hope it's not damaged. You can still use it. All right. That wasn't me. You all right? I had good reactions with that. I completely avoided that tipping bicycle. But that could have easily like crushed my foot if the bicycle landed on me. That e-bike isn't light either. It's very heavy just due to the battery and the motor. <laughs> I would say probably at least 50 pounds. Raj saying that was an electric bike. They're heavy. And you know it's heavy too when you hear it make so much um, make it hear so much noise too. It was crash. Wolf moves, they have Jedi reflexes. You don't want a bicycle falling on top of your foot or your leg. That can really mess you up. Fam, you need steel toe boots. That's why the construction workers wear them. That way if something heavy drops on their foot, it's less likely that I'll get damaged or their toe. Think about it, the construction workers, they deal with heavy tools all the time. Wrenches, hammers, saws, big things of metal, hard hats. 
Those are all important. And I'll be honest, at times I feel like I should walk around New York City with those things. When you hear about stuff like things falling from buildings, like icicles, you want to wear a hard hat. And then like random things falling over, like electric bicycles. Here's Martha's Country Bakery. We had a few mentions of a bakery on the live stream before. You can see what they got here. Carrot cake, blueberry, no that's blackberry, cheesecake maybe, I don't know. Look at this, this must be like pumpkin pie, pecan pie, all these like crumb variations. I think I'm about to uh, move away from this, otherwise I'm just gonna gorge on desserts later because I'll be tempted to eat all that. I think I'm done eating desserts for the holidays between Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's. I even told you, if you don't support it, the whole Here's a restaurant called the Sion Town. Chinese restaurants. Nancy, you think you gained two pounds just looking at it? I feel like that sometimes just by doing window shopping of bakeries and like gourmet places you gain weight just from looking at it. Here we've got 9th Street and Bedford Avenue. Looks like they empty this trash can, or maybe it's just not used as much. A fixed in with $2 asking about the squirrels, what I was going to say about the squirrels. Yeah, I think it was the New York Post who ran the article, or one of the local newspapers. There was about like eight different attacks of squirrels in Regal Park, Queens. People were getting scratches and bites from the squirrels. And the squirrels were very aggressive. The people were trying to like shake them off and they'll just jump off them and then jump back on. But the city wasn't really like responding to the squirrel complaints. Text mini one, you gained 12 pounds on Christmas and they neighbor gave me her cat. <laughs> It's funny too, I hung out with my friend the day before New Year's and she had a big fat cat too. I think the cat gained more weight over the holidays too, not even, not just the people. Even the pets are gaining weight now. No cars coming. Here we've got the All's Well restaurant. Seems popular right now. Pico72 asking if I think more people eat out in New York with all the variety and awesome food or cook at home. You know, that's a good question. I would say, hmm. I guess it really depends my neighborhood, maybe. But I would think that most people cook still at home compared to eating out because 
New York City is an expensive place to live and cooking is one of the ways to save money. So I feel that there's more people than not that's cooking. Fam asking me what's my favorite grocery store. Um, I think that would have to be Key Food and Astoria. Elving Lara with 10 bucks. Happy New Year and keep up the great work. Thank you, Elving Lara. Appreciate it. And Jeanne Johnson with $4.99. Thank you, Jeanne. Peace and tranquility, asking how much a one bedroom apartment costs in New York. That depends on many things. Most important is location. If you ask real estate agents in New York City what prices of things are, they're gonna tell you three things. Location, location, location. And also it depends on other stuff too, like rent control and amenities and subway access school districts it can range from free all the way i don't know however much you want to pay on the upper end looks like it's pretty dark here on this section of bedford avenue i'll walk through the park instead McCarran Park. McCarran Park has lamps at least. Jeff Whitman saying free, tell us how. I know people who live for free, just I would have to share the secret. Falling in love with somebody and then you get to stay at your significant other's place for free if they love you enough. Maybe you stay with relatives, maybe unfortunately there's a lot, large problem with homelessness in the city. People make the streets of New York their home. So that's the other unfortunate side of staying for free, but sad. But to live in New York definitely costs money. Really quiet in McCarran Park tonight. Alicia D E N F P, you know people who stay specifically in relationships who live for free. It happens. Mitchell with three bucks. Say I'm blowing up, may have to quit my day job. Thank you, Mitchell. This light pole, it feels like the light is a little bit different. There's other ways to get things for free also. I've had dates before where I've gotten taken advantage of and the person got a free meal. Was not ha happy about that, but I guess that's uh, why I don't like to go on expensive dinners for first dates. Oh my gosh, this is not cool. There's so much mud here and water. 
Yuck. Looks like the park's trash receptacles are also full. Tech Explorers NYC, there's a woman who blog about getting free meals from their dates. It happens. It definitely happens. That's not all they want either. They want more than just food, they want bags, purses. They want the glamorous lifestyle. But I have to say to each their own. So I am approaching the border of Williamsburg right now at the corner of McCarran Park. Thank you so much, Gabriel. Gabriel Villanueva for $4.99. Hello from San Diego, California. Appreciate it very much. So I'm approaching the border of Williamsburg with green points and I do have a special announcement to make. So even though this live stream only goes and covers Williamsburg, Brooklyn, I am going to make another live stream on my second channel, which I recently created the action kid extra channel. So if you'd like to see it, jump on Action Kid Extra because I'll be going live there right after this one where I'll be walking back to Long Island City and Astoria. Thank you so much SG Hill 7 with five bucks, appreciate it. The main reason why I want to do that is because I want to increase the watch time on that channel so that channel can get monetized and then I can create like some more different kind of content then. But Action Kid Extra is going to be going live tonight. I felt that that kind of long walk from here to Astoria is kind of like redundant going back to Brooklyn to Queens to my own neighborhood. But that's what the extra, the extra channel is for, for extra content. So. Action Kid Extra channel will be going live soon. Anyway, folks, I'm going to end this live stream right now. For those of you who want to tune in to Action Kit Extra to watch the continuation going back to Astoria, Queens, going through Greenpoint, be sure to check out that channel because I'm going live in probably like five minutes or so. But for those of you who, don't, who aren't, bye-bye. Thank you for joining in, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Check me out on Action Kit Extra if you want to continue. Bye-bye.